Rhonda, Ron's wife arrived from Calgary. <laughs> so, how do you, what do you think of the uh, what do you think of the progress so far that we've uh, accomplished? I think it looks great. I think it's uh, better than a pro. Are you going up my nose? No, no, I can't see it because of the shade. There, that's better. I think it's great. I think you guys deserve an Academy Award yeah. for all the, the great filming. No, never mind that. What about the work? Oh, the work. Yeah. The work is good. The work is good. Okay, right now what we're doing, if you can look up there, we're putting the bead, corner beads up to the drywall. I uh, just got to cut one more piece, and then we'll be ready to uh, do some taping. So right now, Jenna's going to give me a hand to hold this, and we'll cut this and get it up. Okay, right. Is it on? Okay, right now, we're just going to tap that into place. And uh, use these little nails to put it through the hole. All you're going to do is tap these things on. And then they stay like that. And then you fill these holes here and that, and they're perforated and beveled so that the mud fills that all up. Nice corner. Good. Now one thing you don't do is you don't tape, you don't need to tape these, but you've got to tape all these. And what I do is I do, this is sticky on one side, which is kind of handy. You just run it over like this, and like that, over here, and then you just cut it off. And you just tape, tape it all up, and then you apply the mud on it. So. I'll do some taping here and then we'll come back with my videographer uh, Jenna and we can show you how we put the mud on. But for now I'm going to just continue taping and once I get it all taped we'll start the mudding. What we've got here is we've got this big hole cover here. just want to show you how we do the corner. You get the, up, the tape up in there and you split it half on the ceiling and half on the wall and you just put the tape in like that and we've got tape here, here, here and that's how you do it. Okay now we've got it all taped and we're ready for the applic mud application here now. Shonda's just studying a tool here. I don't know if Shonda likes tools, drywall tool that is. So how's the mess in here? Do you think it's coming along pretty good? I or? think it looks great to yeah. be honest. I was here two weeks ago Look worse then. So, how was your flight in from Calgary? It was wonderful. A yeah. little, little turbulent. Okay, would you like to say hi to Ron out in Calgary? Hi, honey. Hope you're enjoying working all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just on vacation floating by Mom's pool. Well, after I'm done working here. <laughs> okay, to do the uh, ceiling and wall, you just put it on like that, and you put it up in there, and you just keep going along. Just sort of fill in the uh, tape. This is the first application. Just put it on like that. And put it over here. It's going to take four applications, so you don't have to worry about filling it all in now. As a matter of fact, you don't want to fill it all in. And okay, so now you've got it like that. It's all filled in. You get it like this, and you just run it right across and you leave it. And there's your ceiling. Okay, as you can see, the first application of mud has been applied and it's starting to take shape. We've lost the bulkhead view and we're going to continue mudding. What I'm doing here, with the bulkheads removed and the dry first application of drywall mud put on, it's actually starting to take shape and we have an over eight foot ceilings in this kitchen which is excellent and uh, really I'm c quite pleased of how things are starting to take shape. Now well, obviously you can see the kind of a mess we had to create to get a couple of extra outlets in. That's the uh, mic built in microwave outlet there. That's going to be for the uh, just an outlet, counter outlet and that will be for the fridge. But now, right now I'm going to um, put the drywall tape on this section and then mud it and be getting close to my day's end. I'll have to cut a piece of drywall to fit into that and mud that. Okay, what we've done is put extra pieces of drywall in the big hole and put the screening mesh over it 
and right now I'm just uh, putting mud on the mesh to fill the hole, let it harden, and uh, just keep putting applications on. And about the fourth application, we'll be able to smooth it out and should be ready for painting. Well, as you can see, we've got all this mudded here, and we've got the receptacles mudded in, the big holes filled up, and we've got the old phone wire where it used to be. So eventually, nobody will have house phones anyway, so they won't need a phone wire. But uh, we're just about done today. As you can see, we get uh, all this done. Uh, starting to look pretty good. Oh, one more thing. When you're cleaning drywall, hit a shot of this pail here for a sec. What you want to do, take it off like that, and you get leave that out. The stuff around the edge here, all that, get a wet, warm cloth and make sure it gets all out and nothing falls in there, otherwise it'll come back to haunt you with streaks in your uh, muddy. And that concludes day seven. We've got one last hole here in the wall that we've got to repair, so we'll just do the <coughs> same thing we've been doing all along. We get this drywall tape up, tape it, put some mud on it. There. Now we'll just tape it up, then we'll mud it, and uh, I'll finish all the flooring. And that's it for today. Okay, day seven's concluded. We've got all the uh, holes in the, where the baseboard was. It's all mudded. You can see that the overhead, where the bulkheads were, we've got that all mudded, boxed in. Ceiling lights are done. And there's mudding over here. So basically, the next few days, we'll be just applying more mud.